Hey, Steve Zick, welcome back to Folks Who Channel and, <clears throat> and kind of material that's in my guitar letter system. I always reference what Joe Pass used to say because he had such a beautiful way of keeping things simple. He used to say, simplify your thinking. So I'm going to talk, I need to make these videos short too because they take forever to download or upload, I should say. Say, you know, in understanding kind of tonal centers and things like, say you're playing a G13 chord, which piano voicing would be root 3, 5, flat 7, 9, 11, 13. But the it's essential notes are the third, you know, the flat seven, the thirteen. This particular voicing has root, flat seven, three, thirteen, and nine. But obviously the, the, the G thirteen is the five chord in C, so obviously notes from the C major scale or you want to call it a mode you can. It's the same thing, it just has different half steps. But when things get interesting is when you start superimposing and using color tones and adding other notes. So, like I was just goofing around today and I noticed how nicely, how nicely that, that E major scale goes with that. Because when you're playing the E major scale over, you've got some nice kind of color tones. Uh, you can always go up a half step, you know, because like for instance, the, the G sharp gives you the flat nine. The F sharp gives you the 6, which is the same as a 13, okay? The C sharp gives you a flat 5. So see, that, that that's one way to start looking at things because it gets, it gets interesting and you can always take some of those notes and, and kind of be creative with them. But the main thing is start looking at, as opposed to just looking at kind of inside looking at things from the inside, like I said, like, you know, G13 is, you know, the five chord, you know, like if you look at other scales and experiment, so this has some nice kind of color tones. You, you got the G sharp there, okay? Um, like I said before, that's like the flat nine. You got the F sharp. The D sharp gives you a sharp five. So, I mean, you got, you got lots of color tones by playing and experimenting with uh, this E major scale, and I know I'm not starting on E, so some people like to call that a mode. I, I find it confuses students, so I just call it an E major scale, but we're starting at a different step, big deal, right? But start experimenting with things like that, playing like a G major scale over um, a G13 chord, and then experiment with some of those color tones. Okay, I'm gonna keep this real simple. <coughs> My bathroom's making a, a strange noise there, let's not worry about that. But just start experimenting with this, uh, you know, E major. And then start experimenting with half steps with some of those color tones, okay? And if you're, you know, if you're on the ladder on the guitar ladder system, just go for it. I mean, I really can't do that many more at 199 And you're going to get four-year membership bonus material from Horace Hatchett, who taught Howard Roberts how to play, who started at MIT. So it's a great situation. This guitar is available, $4.99, sounds unreal. Take care.